Hello everyone, welcome back. So guys, in our previous session, we have talked about text functions in Excel. In our today's session, we will be discussing about how we can write if else function, conditional statements, how we can write conditional statements, how we can use and and or and not operators in Excel. So let's first of all talk about if function. If function is very useful. Suppose if based on two columns or one column, you want to create a new column, which should be based on a condition that any value in that column is affecting the creation of new value. In that case, we can use if function. For example, suppose if the marks are given over here and I want to, I want to see how many students have passed or failed. So instead of writing, like let's say the criteria of passing is the mark should be greater than 50. Okay, so I, I won't be writing it like this, that this person is failed, this person is passed by checking each value. What if there are hundreds of values? In that case, we can use if function. How does if function works? Let's have a look at that. For that, we'll write equal to if. We'll give a logical test. As soon as we open a bracket, we'll give a logical test. The logical test would be this marks. That if this marks are greater than 50 or you can give greater than equal to 50. In that condition, the person is passed. So it says value if true. If value is true, that person is passed. Else, what if it is false? In that case, the person fails. Okay, let's press enter. The first guy failed. And let's now drag it till the end. And now you can see this one is passed, this one is passed, this one is failed because the marks are less than 50. Here also the marks are less than 50. That's why this person failed. Okay, this is how if function works. Okay, so maybe let's call it result. Okay, similarly, let's take again another criteria. Let's say uh, there is a hackathon in a college. Okay, and only those who have scored greater than uh, 80 and who are from computer science branch, only they can participate in this hackathon. Those who have great, uh, scored greater than, let's keep the criteria a little simpler. Those who have scored uh, greater than 70 and computer science. So what two things are mandatory? It should be computer science, that their branch should be computer science and their mark should be greater than 70. In that case, if I start with equal to if, you as you can see, I only have one logical test over here. What if I want to give two logical tests? The two logical tests would be that this branch should be computer science and the mark should be greater than 70. So I want two logical tests and both of them are mandatory that both the criteria should be satisfied. So in that case, I'll be using an AND operator which will allow me to give multiple logicals. The first logical over here would be that this branch, this should be equal to computer science, comma, these marks, they should be greater than equal to 70. Close it. What if both these values are true? If both these values are true, the person can get in. Otherwise, the person won't be in for the hackathon. Okay, and let's close it. Let's press enter. The first one is not in, obviously. And only one person is in because this guy has 90 marks and is in CS. This, why, this guy is also in CS, but uh, only has 67 marks. Let's see what if I change it to 71. Now this guy is in. Okay. So this is how AND operator works. AND operator will allow you to give multiple logicals and all the logicals that you are providing, they all should be true. For example, if uh, for a hiring in a company, the criteria is that you should have a bachelor's degree. You should have uh, knowledge in Power BI, you should have knowledge in Python. So all the three criteria should be made in order to get that person hired. So that's why AND operator will be used over there. Okay. Similarly, because not a lot of people participated in this hackathon, that's why they organized another hackathon. Hackathon number two, or we can call it hackathon 2.0. Okay. In this hackathon 2.0, they have set the new criteria that you could be of any branch okay but your mark should be greater than 70. so now this criteria would be that you could be of any branch okay and cs is mandatory but even if you are not from cs your mark should be greater than 70. okay so all the students from cs branch will be in this hackathon and 
all those students who are not from cs branch but their marks are greater than 70 can be also in this hackathon so for that we'll be giving the criteria like this if now because any of these logical could be true so could marks could be greater than 70 or if you are from cs if your marks are greater than 70 you can also get in or if you are from cs whether your marks are 50 24 even if you have failed but you are from cs then also you can get in so for that we uh, we will be passing the criteria in this way that for this we will be using or or will allow us to give multiple logicals and we have choices that if uh, even if i have provided four logicals only one of them is true still it will give me the value for the true for example if i say the logical says that this marks should be greater than equal to 70 comma or this value should be cs okay equals to cs okay let's close this bracket comma if it is true and i haven't closed the double quotations comma if it is true then in if it is not true then not in and let's close the bracket as well okay i might have made a little mistake double quotation and i need to put double quotations on both the sides now this person is not in but if i drag now a lot of people are in this guy is also in why this guy is in because he is in double e but his marks are more than 70 this guy is in mechanical but his marks is greater than 70 okay so that's why they all are in so in simple words or means suppose if again there is a hiring in a company they say you have done any bachelor's degree then you can apply for the job now any bachelor's degree could be a btech bca bed or bcom it could be any bachelor's degree okay so if you have completed any of these four degrees that means any of these logicals are satisfied any of these values are true that means you can apply for it and in this case if any of these two logicals that is that the uh, that your branch should be cs and your marks should be greater than 70 if any of these two logicals is true that means that person can come into the hackathon otherwise he cannot so this is how or operator works now let's move ahead and talk about nested if statement along with and or or okay so suppose if there is a hotel which has these number of adults in their uh, list and these number of kids along with those adults i want to identify the guest type okay this guest type could be a single person okay single i am not defining a relationship of a person that he is single but a single person or a couple again i am not defining a relationship of a person a couple means that there are a pair of people it could be two guys two girls or a couple and then there could be a family okay for a single the criteria is that it should be one person and no kids for a couple the criteria is it should be two people and no kids okay and for a family it can be more than two people and more than kids as well okay even if there are two people and two kids that also serves the serves in the category of family okay now let's create a formula over here that let's just for, uh, remove this and equal to if okay so first of all let's write it for singles okay for single the criteria would be that if and because we need two logicals over here it is important for a single that this value should be equal to 1 comma and this value should be equal to 0 we will close our first logical and say if this criteria is satisfied that person is single okay if false Uh, now we do not need to write for false because we need to identify for the couple and family as well so instead of false we'll again write if another logical test now let's go for couple so for couple it's important that this should be 2 and this should be 0 okay so if we'll give a logical test and both of them should be satisfied so i'll be writing and this value is equal to 2 comma and this value is equal to 0 in that condition that guest is a couple okay remaining of them are family simple as that and i believe okay i haven't closed 
the last bracket let's press enter the first one is couple makes sense and let's drag it down up to here this one is family because there are two people with one kid four people with one kid is a family three people with two kids are a family four people zero kids are also could be a family one is a family okay we don't think if one should be a family let's check it once again okay uh, by mistake i have used comma instead of equal to let's press the enter again and let's drag it to the bottom again so now this guy is single uh, we have a couple here with a family single and couple so i hope now uh, the concepts of if and and or are clear to you all in our next session we will be talking about more different kinds of functions so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you